hello. Uh, for those who have been in the previous panel, uh, you might remember my name is Monica Bello. I'm the head of arts at CERM. And I will, for seven minutes, uh, talk about art and science, which is the subject of this panel. Um, it's said that for centuries, and this is an obvious but really important idea, our reality has been defined by the cultural practices of uh, art and science. The way we comprehend our environment, uh, the interactions with other beings, our the understanding of the complex laws of nature have constituted the common drives uh, of art and science through human history. Currently, we are seeing a renewed and major interest in the hybrid areas created with when these two disciplines collide. And instead of simply communicating or illustrating uh, scientific and technological concepts and objects or models, art once again is recognized as providing a framework for discussing the complexities that underlie our contemporary culture. Today it's possible to imagine a place where artists and scientists uh, can meet and influence each other by using formal strategies and un universal common imperatives. This is what we do at CERN. Since its creation in 1954, CERN has been a unique and exceptional laboratory where scientists, engineers, and scholars have come together, together and share common goal of making new discoveries about the matter and the structure of the universe. Uh, you might know these facts because among many other amazing discoveries and technological advances, CERN was the site of the creation of the World Wide Web, an invention that has transformed our society and our lives. It is also the site of the Large Hadron Collider, the biggest machine ever existed, the most powerful man-made craft that has been uh, placed in this near the lake of Geneva. Without pioneering an open international collaborations that embrace the importance of exploration, these advance advances could not be possible. <clears throat> The fundamental research that is under undertaking at CERN not only help us to improve our, uh, our understanding of the universe, it also contributes to human society by enabling positive cultural and social changes. <clears throat> when the CERN cultural policy was launched under the name of Great Art for Great Science in August of 2011, CERN's engagement with the arts was placed on a similar level as the excellence of its science. In order to find the most innovative ways for understanding art and creation through fundamental research, CERN looked to form collaborations with international partners, sharing the same objectives. This uh, was a common goal, a common interest of encouraging synergies between disciplines in order to understand how this could benefit our society. And Arts Electronica was at that time an obvious and natural match. So uh, over the last four years, we partnership uh, Arts Electronica to give the opportunity to the artists to spend some time at CERN exploring ideas looking at the science, the pure science that is developed there, and to come later to Future Lab to um, produce a piece or a, a technological device related to it. <clears throat> Since some cultural policy was written at that time, we also partner other institutions and the network uh, at the moment is expanding. We had had uh, collaborations with Anastasis Cultural Center in Athens, 
the Ministry of Culture of Taiwan, the Federal Chancellery of Austria, the Swiss Arts Council Pro Helvetia, and it goes on because at the moment uh, we are about to open new calls for, with new partners. All over the world uh, there is some interest for the artistic uh, exploration of the multidimensional uh, multi domain of uh, high energy physics. The way we work is uh, to provide an incomparable and hugely inspire, inspiring location for creators of many artistic disciplines to develop their practice during a residency that can take from one day to three months. And during this residency, uh, the artist is in, invited uh, to become integrated into the community of researchers, um, becoming one of us. She will typically be challenged by the idiosyncrasies of the space, in getting involved in the conversations, the discussions, and those are, uh, believe me, full of terms that sometimes are far removed from everyday speech. The routines of the lab, and the practices of the artists, we know, can be very esoteric. The scale of the place can be daunting. Uh, meeting physicists, computing engineers, experimentalists, visiting experiments, locations, looking at machines that are really far from design and being pretty. They are really making an amazing job creating clouds or uh, exploring antimatter or different particles, and many of other actions that help to construct the experience of the artist in a daily basis. Over the period of the residency, the artist becomes immersed in this huge and tireless hive that constitutes uh, the fascinating environment where the study of pure constituent, uh, constituents of matter and other elementary particles is the common objectives of uh, 11,000 scientists that meet at CERN. This population consisting, uh, consists, uh, consists of researchers, scientists and engineers, but uh, now also artists, creators, thinkers. Through this the research for unique ideas and ways of expressing them is formed and the artists become really engaged with a one-of-a-kind laboratory. I want to emphasize because, as I mentioned, uh, the goal of CERN is to investigate and understand the fundamental structure of the universe and to understand the nature and create objects that can be, as uh, Joe said before, mediating the experience uh, in this natural environment we live in. And this is a highly ambitious and challenging, challenging objective. In order to model these primordial stages, uh, as you might know, some of the large, largest and most powerful high energy accelerators have been designed and built. Fundamental particles are collided at the speed of light, allowing physicists to discover their properties and the loss of matter as well as the forces involved in the process. Theories are put to the test to see whether uh, our ideas of, or of how the universe works are accurate or whether we need to write new chapters in the science books, or literally go back to the drawing board. As a conclusion, I could say that art and science as essential cultural forces help us to discover the human condition, that is, the drive of curiosity, play, and discovery, and play. I will emphasize this play subject topic because it's really playing. And if you come to sound, you'll see that, that is playing with ideas in a framework that is really wide and, but 
really frigid in a way with protocols that we need to understand, models, even routines that sometimes you wonder why are they like that. I think science opens up new routes to explain nature, while art offers us original paths to interpret new realities. And both domains allow us to generate an, an experienced knowledge by detecti detecting unique and unexpected patterns in the data that comes from natural systems. By applying technology to this relationship, we can develop the tools for modeling conditions that could only previously be imagined. And by creating experiences, by insi inciting interaction and steering forces, common threads of inquiry are found between the hybrid practices of art and science. Thank you.